guys! What's up? Welcome back. I know it's been a while. We do apologize. What? 45 days since our last video? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. We're probably the worst YouTubers ever when it comes to consistency and <gasps> uploading. But, either way, we figured we'd fill you in on the last few months. They have been amazing. Like, we have done literally nothing um, apart from just chill out in the garden, flying these guys for like an hour or so a day. We've had barely any work. We're actually not working at all at the moment, probably not back until September. Sorry for the lack of content, but it's just kind of nice sometimes to just chill out and enjoy life. We aren't naturally YouTubers, so we've just been living without documenting really. It's been kind of fun. We've been doing like play dates and bird meetups. Yeah, so we have been on multiple adventure days with these guys, kept our distances of course, but just really trying to make the most of this time and spend time all together. It's been really fun. It's been really cool. <laughs> um, but we are still alive and well. I know a lot of you guys have been like, where have they gone? Where? We're gonna try and make more content though. We really are. Some fun stuff, some educational stuff. We did ask you guys what you wanted to see. There was some ridiculous comments I mean <laughs> a soap opera with my Kimia yeah we'll do our best we I will. would love to do that I think that. it sounds fun um <laughs> pirate ship in the garden pirate ship in the I garden want to do that yeah also. the camping one we would love mm. to do mummy human isn't I don't like camping a fan of camping but you know we'll see but anyway today we figured we're going to show you just really a day in a life ish kind of thing of what we've been doing day to day to day to day it's a form of wake up relax in the garden, have a coffee, go for a fly, come back, feed the birds. It's kind of a great little routine we've, we've got, got routine going. Now, and it's yeah. been loads of fun. So far we've woken up, we've showered, we've had our morning coffee, so let's head to the local. And we're at the park. Now, every day when we fly, Mikey will land in that tree over there. Who knows why? That's just what he does. Mia's always good. She'll come back. Now, Mikey will come down after maybe a couple of minutes. If you guys saw the latest flocking video we did, where my Kimi are flying in sync. That was all done at this lovely park here. So today we're not gonna do any epic super slow-mo flying. It's just gonna be kind of like a real day. So we kind of start by just sitting on the grass or on a bench. <laughs> this is where we sit. This is where we sit. Mm. And the birds just do what they do. Mikey is still in this tree, which you can see all these people here are trying to take photos of him. There he is. Who likes this tree? Yay. Here he comes. Good job, Mikey. Good boy. Good boy. Hi. Two beds. So a lot of you guys keep asking all the time, will Mikey and Mia ever have babies? Now this is a question that we Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. We'll be editing lots. <laughs> now, this is a question we get asked almost every day. Now, it is one of those things where we're not 100% too sure right now. Mia is very, very young. She's only three next month. We're actually having a huge party. It's gonna be loads and loads of fun. And all of Mia's friends are gonna be joining us. So they this are. is gonna be very uh, exciting. Yes. Uh, but Mikey and Mia, yeah, they've basically coupled up to another level. Now, when they first met each other till now is literally night and day where Mikey <laughs> couldn't stand her. And now they're feeding and preening and kind of trying to make love. I don't think they really know <laughs> what they're doing. I think they're just kind of trying and seeing what happens. But, but there is risks in this as well. I mean, a lot of people have said to us, if they do become a bonded pair, and if we still do keep free-flying them like we do, there is a chance they could obviously take off and make a nest in the trees. 
and start a family of their own. Now, we've seen no signs of this. We've talked to a lot of people as well. Uh, we had a chat with Adventures of Roku. We had a chat with Bird Tricks briefly, and we're just keeping an eye on the signs, you know, that if we are getting pushed out or anything like that. But right now, our bonds are still super strong. I mean, if they were a super strongly bonded pair, I mean, me, I wouldn't be here with Mummy Human, and <laughs> Mikey's up in a tree over here, just having a bit of fun. Now, even if we do see those signs coming, exactly. we're not gonna stop them, but we're not gonna encourage it. So we're not exactly putting up nesting boxes in their aviary. We're not letting them <laughs> dig holes like they used to, like Mike used to dig these massive holes in this park. Uh, I'm guessing he was trying to build a nest for Mia. Uh, we're not going to let them play around under the sheets or in our laundry anymore. We thought it was cute <laughs> and fun at the start, but it actually really just encourages them to want to build nests and have babies. So we're not stopping them, but uh, the less encouragement, the better. I mean, we're definitely not ready to have a family of macaws, and uh, we've said this a couple of times in social medias. So if they did end up having babies, it's a couple of years away, but basically we'd never sell them. We'd either give them to very close friends of ours that do free fly, or we'd have to move Hi. out of London and live on a farm somewhere and be those crazy bird people with a whole family of macaws and who knows what kind of life that would be but it could be fun who knows you just have to prevent them from having these nesting behaviors and you just try your best but they are animals at the end of the day they have instincts so we don't want to stop them from doing what they want to do but you can take all of no the more birds steps to preventing that from happening but yeah so this is basically how our days have been just laying in the sun Summer's been great. Letting the birds kind of fly around and do what they want. What more could we and them really ask for? It's so windy. We're getting mobbed a bit now. There's a lot of people in the back. Our life is kind of like a show and tell. It's okay though. Mummy Human is educating the children of the park on the needs of Mikey and Mia. You wanna go again? Okay, let's, yeah. let's give it a sec for the wind to calm down. It's a very windy day today. These guys love the wind sometimes, and then sometimes they think, no, we're just gonna chill. Off he goes. who's like how do you tell them apart you must be able to see all the differences by now I think we're like 50 videos in wow this is actually our 50th video happy 5-0 Woo! well guys our bench is free now this bench here is where we sit I don't usually push merchandise but we don't have jobs at the moment we just sit on benches and make videos so go buy some merch now a lot of you guys always ask about the bad stuff these guys do and Compared to the Don't Buy a McCall video we shot like nearly two years ago, they have been absolute angels. I think since they've really been free flying, we understand their behavior now, uh, their diet's on point, they've just been so much better. There's been barely any destruction, barely any screaming, and if they do scream, we know why they're screaming. I mean, and we've had Mikey four years in October, and we know if he's screaming, he's either hungry or thirsty or wants to cuddle or wants to train or wants to fly, you know. They are very complex creatures, and 
See, right now, off he goes. So just touching from what Daddy Human has said, it is normally quite challenging when you're working a full-time job and obviously you've got a massive commitment with the bird. But since lockdown, it's been a breeze. I mean, we only worry that they're gonna get too used to being with us all the time. So we do still try and apply a bit of time in their room between Monday and Friday so that there is the routine there. I feel like I do this every video, but Mia's just getting so good at kissing me. It's the only thing she'll do. Come here, kiss. Good girl. Mikey, are you ready? Do you want to come down now? Here he comes. So now we are going to go and give them a lovely big lunch and we're also going to give them epic showers in the garden. So let's go! Alright guys, we're back home now. That was a load of fun. Now these guys haven't showered in a couple of days. We usually try to keep it up every two days or so. So I know I did say we're not doing any epic slow-mo because uh, there's a lot of epic slow-mo on the channel, but we haven't done an epic slow-mo shower, so get ready for the epicness of this shower. Mikey showered, Mia hates the one outside, so she'll shower in the actual shower at some point. But let's get these guys some lunch. Bunch of healthy stuff right here. Let's chop it up. Seriously, this stuff is delicious. Mmm. They're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, we are gonna put these guys in their room for their lunch and uh, around this time most days we have uh, what we call me time. Well, with Mummy Human and I, it's us time, where we just go do whatever we really want. Sometimes we just chill, sometimes we go for a walk, sometimes we just sit in the sun drinking some beautiful single malt whiskey. But today, we're gonna to be going to Mummy Human's parents. <gasps> Come. Now you can feast, Mikey. 
Doggy! We'll see you soon! Alright, we'll be back in a few hours. So now we're gonna have what we call treat time, where the sweet ones have their evening treat. So you guys have seen them go to bed loads of times, which they're probably going to do in an hour. So we are going to end this here. If you think Mummy Human looks amazing in that sweatshirt, you know what to do. Go buy some. We don't have jobs right now. It'll yes. be great. But uh, we're just going to probably hang out, drink some good old double wood, and enjoy our lifelong holiday with you guys. So cheers. Uh, don't drink whiskey until you're 18. And we will <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.